Welcome back. WNST. Towson, Baltimore. Baltimore Positive celebrating 25 years of this madness. We have begun the countdown. And I tell you, the Orioles playing and the Ravens and London and all this stuff going on. We're getting back to the countdown. 23, 22, 21. All coming your way out at the front of Baltimore Positive. And sponsored by our friends at Curio Wellness and Far and Daughter. I've got the shirt. Shirt meant more last week than I think it does this week, although well, I'll still have it in April. I'll have it for spring training. Welcoming in Wendy Brown Fine, as well as Elisa Schaefer making her debut here as the vice president of marketing for all things Curio Wellness and our friends over at Far and Daughter uh, over at Timoni, where I stop by once in a while, take a picture and pick up some uh, some terpenes and some products as well, uh, trying to educate folks as we do with this educational series. We all got educated about pitching last week, didn't we? October pitching was the educational play last week. Are all the shirts gone, Wendy? You were a little worried you were going to run out of them. We, we're going to work some purple here sometime soon, right? Yeah, well, we, we have a our, our Purple Friday shirt as well. We'll have to get one over to you so you can change, change uh, seasons. Well... I want an I'm a blunt person shirt when I'm in your stores because I'm I'm a blunt person. <laughs> I, I, you know, there's a double entendre going on there. Lisa's the uh, also from the marketing side of things. Secure. Welcome aboard. Good to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, I guess on a marketing level, what we do here is we talk about trying to educate people and things going on and things going on in the community. We drive by your place up on York Road or if your folks up in Cecil County in that way can drive by your place up there as well, uh, store frontage. But you sort of came to the people a little bit last week in the running festival. Um, and, you know, dare I say, I live downtown. This was my view forever. The running festival for so many years of my life either trapped me in or we had to get out because you couldn't leave in the middle of the day. But it brings so many people downtown. And I know – a wide variety of people. And I think when people think of cannabis or think about 20, 30 years ago, it being black market, illicit, all of those things, the wellness part of this and the health part of this, Wendy, you brought up to me that maybe you're even shocked by people running marathons 26 months. They'll stop when they're done and they want to learn about CBD, about wellness, about sleeping better, about the things cannabinoids, the science part of this, um, that even a running festival, that uh, you were down last weekend for thousands of people, but you also had a presence in talking to people about a product that, quite frankly, is new to the market. Yes, yeah, so we, for the second year in a row, we sponsored the 5K race um, that went off at 7.30 in the morning. And then um, we were able to connect with all the runners as they came in. So from the 5K, the 10K, the half, and the full marathon. and Part of the reason we had originally been drawn to it is that we have this, this topical line called Move that's for body aches and pains, muscle and joint pain um, and inflammation. And we thought, well, you know, you just run however many miles you run, something's going to hurt. There's, We got something great to rub on that and make the pain go away without any psychoactivity. So we had tons of people who, as the day progressed and the races got longer, that we saw kind of limping by us and we were like hey hey we might be able to help you um but then we also had our other products um all of our chews um the good day products the good uh the good night products and the gi products where we were able to talk to people nothing available there but just education um and i think most people didn't realize that you can address you can use cannabis to address if you don't sleep or um, you want to have energy and focus or your stomach bothers you or just something hurts. Well, the bomb part of this and the first things first, does it smell like Bengay or does it smell better than that? No, it doesn't. It <laughs> That's my first. I don't want to walk into the room yeah. and smell like like I, you know, I, I, I'm getting old. I turned 55 last week and I had an old fashioned to celebrate with my kid last week. We put it up online, but I don't want to smell old fashioned. <laughs> Actually, ours is roll on too, so yeah. you don't even have to touch it. Yeah, right. so it doesn't get your clothes icky, doesn't smell, absorbs, pain gone. You know, that's a fascinating part of this that I think even five minutes ago when I began the conversation, I hadn't thought about that. That you probably had people that that are in that that know about this, either medicinal side or adult use side, that have used bombs or they they <laughs> used. My dad used to use to make you laugh absorbing junior right i mean that stuff you put that on i'd smell him before he came in the house with the, but the the active ingredients and and wendy you can speak from this from the pharmaceutical side for many years you and your family would provide these sort of things and topicals and saying 
how does it work? And uh, people would say, well, weed, a plant, marijuana, whatever. How does that become something that can be active in doing what Ben Gay and these smelly things used to do and probably do it a whole lot better than any of that stuff ever did? So there's two products in the line. Um, there's a topical product and a transdermal product. So topical products just are on that upper level of your skin. They're not permeating into your bloodstream, right? So, and that's giving you localized relief. And then the a transdermal does uh, move through your bloodstream to the area where it needs to um, service that pain or inflammation. Um, so both the transdermals are on the medical side right now um, because they're a higher potency and the topical is available for all adult use customers and medical customers, but both can work equally effective for all types of joint pain, muscle aches, whether it's like, you know, the arthritis type pain or the post or pre-workout. So sometimes I use them pre-workout so that I don't get as sore or post-workout to alleviate kind of stiff quads or tight hamstrings. Um, you can use them for menstrual cramps. You can use them for headaches and rubbing on your temples. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of different ways that people use the topicals and, and people like them because you don't get psychoactive effects. Lumbar well, pain. Well, that's what I was going to say. And Lisa, you can speak to this from the marketing side of what you're doing to say, this was illicit, my parents and like all the stuff we heard about. And now all of a sudden it, it's, you, you think about it and say non-psychoactive, right? The first thing we would think about is if I do that, I'm going to think differently. I'm going to be high. And, and that feeling of being maybe out of control in some way, or the fear of being out of control uh, for those who saw reefer madness 150 years ago. But the thought that there that there is no psycho that's an educational part just at the front that i think everybody needs to understand that 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 this medicine does not have to make you feel that way right absolutely and i mean aside from the topicals especially with our chews um we have a lot of different what we call ratios which is like a low thc and could have high and another in like CBD. We also have CBN and CBG, which do certain things, but it's, it's a lot more complicated than I think people understand. And you can really like craft your experience in what, you know, in, in what you want to have. If you want to have more energy, if you want to feel more sleep, if you want more or less psychoactive effects. And we've really focused a lot in the past year on educational materials. Um, Wendy was saying that we had a display, for example, at the at the uh, Baltimore Running Festival, and this is a display we've taken everywhere that shows the different types of chews and how they can create different experiences. And we find that people are really, really intrigued and it helps them understand like the spectrum and, and, and how this sort of crafting of experience can work. So Wendy Bronfine is here. Uh, they are our partners at Curio Wellness celebrating our 25th anniversary and uh, partnering with us over Far and Daughter uh, if you're in the Timonium area uh, as well. Uh, Lisa Schaefer is also here, Vice President of Marketing, talking about medicinal use and adult use and things that could that can help you above and beyond. Hey, I want to be relaxed. I want to feel calm. It's, it's the number one, I would say, non-flower using person that's new to this that comes in maybe a little older maybe even a little older than me and says or maybe even younger and saying i ah, sleep problems like i would think that that would be the thing that would get me to your doorstep more than any other reason to say I'm having trouble sleeping am, am i wrong in saying that that that's that that's maybe the, yeah. the, the first person that would come to you it's huge. Sleep and pain are the two biggest. But sleep, when we were in, when we interviewed back when we were in the medical program, we developed our good night product and we interviewed a lot of different patients around sleep. Um, we had started the our quest on sleep that was really focused on the effects uh, that women have from menopause and how they become kind of terrible sleepers. And so it was it started from kind of trying to address that and not having to rely on things like Ambien or other prescription drugs and minimize morning grogginess from taking something to help you sleep. But then we started to learn that the, the sleep issue really kind of starts for people before men or women starts before kind of that middle age zone and that there were people as young as their 30s who were having sleep issues. Um, and, and a lot of people really tried many different ways to improve their sleep hygiene, right? Like turning off the TV, getting the lights low, having a bedtime routine, but they just still had terrible sleep. 
And so that's what was the impetus for creating this sleep line. Um, and so now what was this, the, our proprietary pulse release tablet that's patented, like US patented, um, the only US patent cannabis product in the country, um, has expanded to also be a chew, so a gummy form, if that's a, if that's a dosage form you want, or even a vape. So for those who look for, who come to the dispensary and want to address sleep, but want it to be a more like traditional cannabis form, you can start with a vape, you could migrate to a chew or gummy, or you, you could use the pulse release tablet that's uh, scientifically designed to help you fall and stay asleep. Well, I, I have just, I, yeah, I, oh, go ahead, Elise. Well, I was going to say too, that those form factors can also be used for different sleep issues right. so like women often have a hard time falling asleep so something like the chew would be better because you can take it in advance and then or even a vape also the tablet i think it solves all the problems because it's pulse release but then if you have people who wake up in the middle of the night which is a lot of times a, a problem that men have um and can't get back to sleep the the vape is like it's called like a rescue product so it, it acts you know immediately activates and that can help with that, with that type of sleeping issue also. And further to what Lisa said, when we did the research, that was what was consistent. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was almost like the noise in your brain. Like men could just fall asleep and like not have the noise in their brain to keep them awake, but ultimately it caught up with them. And if they woke up now, they were like, they couldn't get back to sleep. Whereas women couldn't quiet that mind and couldn't get to sleep. So it was, it, that is exactly what we saw in the difference of the genders. We're all spending upwards of a third of our lives sleeping, right? And I'm not a guy who has a sleep problem, but there are nights I want to go to bed a little earlier because I like waking up earlier, I got a flight, something like that, where you're like, yeah, you know, it's 8 30, 9 o'clock. I'd like to go to bed now. I'd like to, you know, I'd like to be asleep by 10 o'clock. Um, and that's why I came to you guys. I got these pineapple terpene infused chews. Um, I, I knew you during this period of time, Wendy, but I would say this was back in the spring. I came in and I think it's a little bit of a gateway. I've never been an ambient person. I've never had a sleep problem as I see it, but there are times I wanted to go to bed. So I don't want something knocking me out. I certainly don't want to wake up, especially four or five in the morning groggy because I did something before I went to bed. And I also had friends that had bad rides with Ambien and bad rides with becoming addicted to like that. And then addicted to that weirdness of the morning of feeling like you need a coffee jolt and all that. I went with a five on this and I mean, there's still some left in here. It's not an every night product for me in any way. It's something I have here as, you know, no game on tonight. I want to go to bed early. I got a big day tomorrow. And I wasn't a candidate for that, but I see it as a very um, soft way to get some sleep. And it's been very effective for me, but I see it as sort of gateway where you would say, try this, right? Try this, not going to hurt you. Maybe you need higher or lower. Maybe it doesn't work for you, but there comes a point where you, you just try something. And this is a very easy thing to try and, and delicious too, I might add. The, so yeah, so the, those pineapple terpene shoes, like the, and I, I think you're, you're explaining it right in the tiering, like those are more of a relax and wind down right? That formula isn't as directive as like sleep, right? Whereas- This isn't like an ambient dopey put me out. It, it doesn't have any of that property to me right. at all. Good night, the good night I choose have a cannabinoid called CBN in there, which is shown to be highly sedative, which is why that's more of the true sleep product. Whereas the terpene chew that's pineapple is using uh, two key terpenes, myrcene and linalool, that induce relaxation. And so that's why for you, you're like, okay, it's helping me cross that hurdle to like wind it down and get to sleep. Whereas I like- It makes me not want to work anymore, <laughs> which I need. I just literally it's like, exciting. turn it off, you know? Yes, and that's yeah. exactly how I describe that product, that it's like almost like you get, if it was six o'clock and you came home and you need to like shut off your workday brain and like turn on your end of day home brain and let your body and your mind relax and like let the day go that's that's how i think of those wendy is here and lisa's here from curio wellness and our friends at foreign daughter and uh, and hoping we're educating you it's part of the, the whole thing here's because i'm i'm getting educated as i go along as well as for things that work and other things that don't work or don't work well and then the i i guess the second round is hey i like this let me try something the same different i i, I would think for people where 
um, taking something that tastes good, that's a gummy, that actually does what it says it's going to do, right? I mean, I, I think for me, it it did exactly what it says it was going to do, and that's a – it didn't always work that way on the pharmacist or on the pharmacy side. There was always some sort of weird side effect that would always make me think, do I really want to take that? It's going to upset my stomach. It's going to cause some other problem. Th this has been – it's felt more gentle to me. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that's the reason a lot of people end up in cannabis um, from the Western side of medicine is because, you know, particularly on the, when we were on the medical side with those who have conditions and that are um, can be more life threatening or extreme, you know, you get prescribed things and that medicine can help, but that medicine could bring on other side effects. And so with the cannabis, you seem to get things that improve your quality of life, but you don't get a new set of issues from the cannabis. Thank God for that. Uh, Wendy and Lisa are here. All right, Lisa, I know we, we got some marketing going on. We're always doing promotions, always doing cool things. Um, you guys are always trying to educate folks like you were at the running festival, as well as here at Baltimore Positive. What's going on at Curio, right? We're going to get some purple shirts, right? You're going to get me a blunt in this shirt too, right? <laughs> yeah, we have have purple shirts we have some purple football shirts we actually just launched a merch uh site on our website where you can get the purple it's a long sleeve like and it's football-esque so we'll get you one uh for yourself well rebecca warned me that i have the 1.0 from like three or four years ago and i had some towels oh. from three or four years ago but we got to paint the place purple it's that time of the year and you guys certainly had a lot of spirit the orange and black rolled out the door quickly right they lasted longer than than our pitching did unfortunately right <laughs> yeah, that well, was that was a sad turn of events that weekend. <laughs> well, I appreciate what you guys do to educate us. Curio Wellness, you can learn more. You can stop over in far and far. Tell everybody about what's going on up in Cecil County, too, because I think Baltimore, and I haven't driven by the other location. Tell me about your Cecil County location. So Cecil County is Farm Kent Wellness, um, and that is our other store. So that's up in Elkton, Maryland. Um, at, and I, and shameless plug at both of our stores, as well as, at, um, many other stores around the state, we're going to be running, um, a vape promotion. So if you buy two of our vapes, we've got some custom batteries with chargers that are going to come with them for free, a gift with purchase. And so if anyone was listening and thinks maybe that good night vape, is a good mm -hmm. pathway for helping them sleep. Um, come pick one up. You'll get the battery to go with it. Um, rechargeable. And a charging. So that that's kind of our, our fun little marketing thing we've got going on in the next week or so. And obviously you guys, you, you know, the, the industry of making vapes and how flour becomes a vape. We went through that a little bit, I think two episodes ago. Explain to people, how, you know, how the vape works and it's, is it proprietary to you or fits on different kinds of heads, right? So the actual cartridge. So, yeah. so yeah. our vape is what we use called a 510 thread cartridge. That's the name of the hardware. And that fits on any standard battery. So it screws in. So uh, you know, you can you can buy our vapes this week, get this battery for free, and use it um, you know, forever because it recharges. Um, the vapes themselves, as you're asking, so uh, we grow all of our flour indoors um, in Baltimore County in a hygienic environment. There's a rumor uh, um, I'm getting we, a tour, by the way. They're going to let me in in the yeah. white Willy Wonka suit, so that's going to be cool. Exactly, <laughs> uh, just like Mike TV. And the um, so, and then we take the uh, the flour, we extract it using CO2, which is um, an FDA approved uh, form of extraction. That's significant because many cannabis use hydrocarbons like butane. Um, we do not use that. It's a more dangerous approach and can have residual solvents, even if at acceptable level, they're still there. Um, and then we reconstitute that into the vape. So we distill that oil from the initial extraction. So we get a real clarified oil where you're just holding the primary cannabinoids um, in that oil very clean. Um, you could think of it akin to kind of the levels of, if you were, um, if you're a connoisseur of spirits, right? You kind of have like a rail liquor versus a higher distilled liquor. So the oil that comes out is further distilled to be refined to a true purity for the cannabinoids um and then they're in they are inclusive of all the uh, terpenes that were in the original flower so they're not used with botanical terpenes they're not terpenes that we can buy um that come from any sort of plant which terpenes are naturally occurring they're the terpenes from our flower itself 
You're Always blinding me with science is what you're doing, right? There's there's a lot of science and a lot of laboratory going into making a terpene infused chew, correct? That too. Well, yeah. that's a whole other story. That's, a, yeah. that's an entire yeah, but yeah. But it all but anything anything that you're buying that isn't flour is coming through um, a processor and it's always starting with that extracted oil. So anything that we make is always starting with that CO2 extracted oil. And it starts really with the science and the plants, right? I mean, you know, learning to grow the plants and learning what they do, right? Yeah, and, and growing plants that can give you um, the cannabinoids that you need when you go through the extraction process and have the yield of potency that you're looking for. Wendy Bronfine is here. If you're watching that on the web, she's got the house, a growing shirt on soon to give me, I'm a blunt person shirt. Lisa Schaefer's also here. She's the VP of marketing for all things, a curio wellness and foreign daughter and farm Kent up in Elkton. I always talk so much about foreign daughter. Cause I drive by it all the time in Timonium right around the corner from all of our places. Stop in, get educated. Don't be afraid, learn a little bit. And, um, and maybe there's something there that can help you. And certainly it's helped me and my wife and my family as well. And we're, uh, we're appreciative of all the education as well as the partnership for our 25th anniversary and our special cupcake and fireworks out here. Wendy, I'm going to start counting these things down. I swear I got a little more time on my hands here. I appreciate you coming on and educating us. Lisa, nice to make your acquaintance as well. Uh, don't be a stranger. Come on back and say hello. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Lisa Schaefer, VP of Marketing, and Wendy Bronfine of Curio Wellness joining us here. Learn more at curiowellness.com as well as at our place at baltimorepositive.com. And uh, you can click on our, our Curio ads and click on our 25th anniversary and get more educated. And I'm going to get a purple shirt for next week as well because orange is out of style, at least for a little while. So orange is still cool. Be, be a cool holiday gift to give some tickets or something like that for next year as well. I am Nestor. We are WNST, AM 1570. Taos and Baltimore celebrating the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. My son came out last week. We were Drug City down in Dundalk with a science teacher. He blinded me with science. George Shulin came on. We talked some baseball last week as well as learned how to make a really, really proper old-fashioned now that I'm old but not old-fashioned. Stay with us.